Hi students, hope you all are doing good. In our first unit, the world of plants, we are going to discuss about food making in plants. In that first, you all know that plants can prepare their own food. Let us think how plants can prepare their own food. Just have an idea around you. What is the color of all plants which you see? The plants are in green color. Have you ever think why these plants all are in green color? Just think. It's the presence of pigment known as chlorophyll. How these chlorophyll pigment help the plants to prepare its own food? Have you ever think about it? Chlorophyll helps the plant to trap sunlight. Do you know plants are often called as green friends of humans? Why? Because we humans depend on plants for several things like wood, food, etc. Can you say where plants prepare their own food? Yeah, plants prepare their own food in the leaf. Leaf is called as food factory of a plant and plant prepare food inside the leaf. The process by which these green leaves prepare their food is known as photosynthesis. For this photosynthesis, the leaf require carbon dioxide, sunlight, water. Plants get these resources from various structures known as soil, sun and air. Do you know the extra water which is present inside the leaf will come out through a structure known as stomata and this process is known as transpiration. Now let us see the structure of leaf. If you observe the leaf carefully, you will observe different parts present in the leaf. The flat portion of the leaf is known as leaf blade. The tip of the leaf is known as leaf apex. At the center there is a mid rib which travels and divides the leaf into two parts and within the mid rib there are lateral structures known as leaf veins. These are helpful to the plant to transfer the food and brings the water into the plant. These small tubules are of two different types. The one type of tubules carries water to the leaf and the other type of tubules carry prepared food from the leaf to all parts of the body. Now let us observe the internal structure of leaf. Internal structure of leaf consists of several layers from cuticle to the lower layer of cuticle and this lower layer of cuticle consists of structures known as stomata. These stomata are guarded by the guard cells and through these stomata the transpiration will take place. Spaces between the cells form openings known as stomata. This stomata carries the process known as transpiration and also air enter into the leaf with these spaces itself. These are morally active towards night and these stomata are morally found on the lower surface of the leaf and how the plants prepare its own food. The, as you discussed earlier, plants prepare their food by the process known as photosynthesis. Here clearly observe the word photosynthesis. It consists of two words. One, photo, two, synthesis. Photo means light. Synthesis means putting together. Here leaf is preparing food with the help of light and other essential parts, both together known as photosynthesis. Here sunlight is playing the major role. For that sake, the word is termed as photosynthesis. For this process, plant require different things like water, carbon dioxide, sunlight. By putting water along with carbon dioxide in presence of sunlight and chloroplast, plant can prepare its own food. Plants prepare its food in the form of sugars or starch. These are stored in the storing tissues. And have you ever thought how the plants use 
their prepared food plants use their food for its own growth and for its reproduction and for its uh, worn out cells extra food which is stored in the form of the starch in all the tissues of the plant is used as food by the humans do you know the relationship between the plants and animals they both are interlinked plants depend on animals and animals depend on plants animals depend on plants for several things like food and oxygen plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide because with the help of the carbon dioxide itself plants can prepare their own food for this they both are interlinked with each other to maintain this healthy relationship uninterrupted we should take care of plants that means we should not cut down the plants and we should plant the plants that to increase the ratio of plants by increasing the ratio of plants we have chance to increase the level of oxygen around us by this we can consume healthy oxygen now let us discuss about some unusual plants here unusual plants means the plants which are not appeared as a plants that means these plants are not like the plants which you see have you ever seen mushroom mushroom is mostly likely towards rain these mushrooms are also the plants but they cannot prepare their own food and they depend upon dead and decaying plants and animals for their food these are also a type of unusual plants the plant known as cotton has a different color on it that means the plant of cotton leaves are red in color this plant consist of chlorophyll but the leaves are to be in red color they have capacity of preparing their own food and leaves like all other plants but these plants are red in color these are also a type of unusual plant a plant known as dodder depend upon other plants for food it cannot prepare its own food and these plants are also comes under unusual plants i think you all know the plant cactus it is a desert plant it is also an unusual plant which have no leaves the leaves are replaced with the spines to reduce the loss of water and the stem is in green color and bulged it stores large amount of water for its survival it consumes very less amount of water for its survival this plant also comes under unusual plants okay students this is all about today's topic which is food making in plants let us discuss about glossary a quick review the first one is chlorophyll the green pigment which is present inside the leaf is known as chlorophyll and the next one is leaf blade the flat portion of the leaf is known as leaf blade and the third one is midrib what do you mean by midrib the midrib is the centered portion of the leaf which divides the leaf into two parts it is the cell which travels at the center of the leaf and then photosynthesis the process of preparing own food by plants is known as photosynthesis and the next one is starch the food which is present or stored in the plants is known as starch this is all about glossary and now let us discuss exercise okay students the first one is multiple choice questions you have four options in that tick the right option okay students first one the tiny pores on the lower surface of a leaf are known as your options option a pistils b chlorophyll pigments c stomata d stamens just think about it which one would be the correct answer the answer is option c stomata and the next question leaves releases dash into the atmosphere during photosynthesis your options are option a carbon dioxide option b oxygen option c hydrogen option d water what do you think students which one would be the right answer the right answer is option b oxygen and next question the green color of leaves is due to a pigment 
called dash. Your options are option A, stamen, option B, chlorophyll, option C, pistil, option D, stoma. What do you think students? What would be the correct answer? Is the stamens is right? No. The right answer is option B, chlorophyll. Next question. An example of a non-green plant is your options. Option A, cactus. Option B, mould. Option C, cotton. Option D, all of these. What do you think students? Which one would be the right? The answer is option C, curtain. Okay students. Now let's see, fill in the blanks. You will have a set of options and pick up the correct option in the suitable blank. Your first question, dash is the stored form of sugar. Once look at the option students, you have so many options. Pick up the right one. What would be the correct? Starch. Starch is the stored form of sugar. And second one, green plants make their own food by a process called Look at the option students, you have so many options, which one will be the right? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their food. And next one, the part which is flat and green is called dash. Once look into the option students, you have options. The correct answer, I think leaf blade, is it? Yeah. Next one. Small openings present on the lower surface of a leaf are called dash. Observe the option students. You have stomata and glucose which will be the correct stomata. Yes or no? Next one. A kind of sugar called dash is made during photosynthesis. You have only one option students. You have to pick it. The answer is glucose. Okay students. Till now we have done multiple choice answers and fill in the blanks. Now we are going into true or false. Okay students, now I will deliver some statements. You have to pick whether it is true or false. Let us see first one. S sunlight is ne not necessary for photosynthesis. Is it true or false? I think sunlight is necessary. For that sake, it is false. And next, plants produce their own food in their roots. No. Plants don't produce food in their roots. So this statement is also false. And next, oxygen is given out during photosynthesis. Of course, oxygen is given out. For that sake, this statement is true. Next one, non-green leaves cannot prepare their own foods. I think in your lesson, I said you unusual plants. I think non-green plants can prepare their own food. So this statement is also false. And next one, a cactus plants have green leaves. No, cactus have no leaves. So this statement also false. Okay students, in our session, we have completed multiple choice questions, fill in the blanks and true or false. Now we are going into one word answers. I will give some statements. You have to answer in one word. Okay, first one, the green and flat part of a leaf is called leaf blade. And second one, process of making food by green plants. I think you know it very well. The process is photosynthesis. And last one, the sugar made in the leaf is known as glucose. Okay students, that's all about our access part. Still you have activity to do, worksheet and creative task. Do it with the help of your parents and teachers. See you in the next topic. Bye.